We are the Peaky Blinders. You thought Peaky Blinders was over? Well, it's back. And this time, you can get up close and personal with the Shelbys. And at the centre of the story, Arthur Shelby. Shelby! Tell me I'm a good man! I'm a good man, Shelby! Good to see you. You too, right? All right, welcome to my playground. Just before his next show, I met with Kieran Mortel, who takes on this massive role. There's a section in the middle of the show where he's going through his PTSD. Uh, so to go through that every night is very challenging. I can feel the bugs tipping. But there ain't nothing I can do about it. But also it's a roller coaster. For the start of the night, he's the one that's kicking off the party. Lots of whiskeys, lots of come on, join in with this song. At the end, the bare knuckle boxing match. You know, this character goes here, there, and everywhere, like the incredible Paul Anderson does in the TV show. Polly, I wanna come on. We spent a lot of time getting the voice right, the mannerisms with our movement directors, so that the audience genuinely do feel like, ah, oh, that's that's him. It's, it's enough for them to feel relaxed into that character and then your work starts from there. So in the stables, you've got, ah, the bookies. The bookies. Okay. My favorite bit, a little taste of home. Ah, the Cheltenham race, the yeah. 720. But the Gloucestershire connections don't stop there. Stephen Knight, who created the TV show, lives in Gloucestershire, and showing me into Thomas Shelby's office is Tom Maller, the creative director on the rise from Nailsworth. We have the identical desk with all the props, a little fun fact here, we have the canvas of Tommy and his horse. This is our Thomas Shelby, played by Craig Hamilton. And behind him, what people don't know, is the original uh, canvas with Killian Murphy's face. So it's a kind of secret Easter egg right there. What is it about Peaky Blinders that makes an immersive experience really work? I think the 1920s has been a, an amazing kind of period to explore for this show. Um, but also the, the, the challenges Tommy faces and allowing those challenges to become our audiences. Like, you know, he's moved from Birmingham in our show now to London at the end of the Grand Union Canal. He's on a deal with Alfie Solomons and he's got, you know, he's at war with the Italians. Does he trust Alfie? Does he go against the Italians? So these choices are made by our audience along with Tommy Shelby. It can have its challenges. Uh, you have to think on your feet a lot, but that's so exciting. You know, we always strive as actors to make it feel fresh every night. In this, it's impossible for it to not feel like that because constantly the audience is bringing you new challenges. Uh, they'll interrupt your scenes and you, know, you have to take that and run with it. Then you can go on something like 19 different stories throughout the night. It allows the audience to play, you know. We talk about escapism and this is exactly what it is. They can come, and some of them do, in character. So they can really leave themselves at the door. Uh, or if you don't want to do that and you want to come and you just want to be an observer, that's also fine in this world. It allows us, it allows the audience to play like seven different roles. We, we create our shows with lots of different audience in mind. Those who will observe, those who want to do the gameplay, those who are interested in the money tracks, that sort of thing. And now there is a bomb ticking off. If this goes off, then the whole operation is ruined. The world of Peaky Blinders has been recreated here in intricate detail, even down to notes on the desks. And the audience are taken through this world and get to interact with the cast. And if they're lucky, find a few secret places too. Secret gin bar for Arthur Shelby. So who comes in here? Some select audience. Yeah. If you play your cards right, if you get to know Arthur well enough, you might come in here and have a little tipple. We wanted to make a show that felt like when you walk off the cobbled streets of Camden, and they, they play a part in the set as well, you know, walking up the cobbled streets of Camden. When you enter the building here, into this warehouse, and you're, you're met with Alfie Solomons, we want it to feel like you are in an episode. And that's why we encourage the audience to come dressed up, and they do. Uh, and yeah, it, it should feel like you are part of, of that world in the 1920s. And this safe is the real safe that came from Small Heath. From the show? From the show itself. Oh, so great. Come on in. Amazing. Ah, here's the money. Oi, keep your eyes off the money, yo. <laughs> I will do. <laughs> you think I haven't got enough on? The war is done. If you're a fan of Peaky Blinders, there's something for you here. If you've never seen the show, then this is a very different type of theatre, one to lose yourself in and experience 1920s London by order of the Peaky Blinders. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West in Camden.